All right, so here we have a burrowing tarantula cage set up. This species is the Costa Rican zebra tarantula. This one is pretty big, very nice. And it's in a really big critter keeper. It's actually like 16 by 10 inches. And this is actually the biggest critter keeper I have ever seen. Uh, I got it from somebody who gave me this tarantula. I've never even seen this size in the stores. So you might need to buy an actual 10 gallon tank or something that's high, just like this. Because for a burrowing tarantula, you're gonna wanna add a lot of substrate. Here, most of the cage is actually just substrate. There's only this much free space and all this is substrate. Okay, so the first step for a burrowing tarantula cage setup is adding the substrate to, for it to burrow in. And the main thing that you wanna do, which I find it to be is the most important, is add a piece of cork bark. And for this uh, cage setup, I actually use a flat piece of cork bark. And if you don't know what cork bark looks like, it looks like this, but this is a round piece for the tarantula to go inside. For the burrowing, you're gonna want a flat piece and then you could start off the burrow and then it's gonna go inside and keep taking dirt out and keep taking dirt and then maybe it's gonna make a funnel like this and it's gonna go all the way down and then it's gonna go to all this substrate and it's gonna take all of it out and then that's why up here you can see more dirt all this is flat but then it kept taking dirt out and piling on top of each other and then after you do all that, you're gonna wanna add this water bowl and then maybe some decorations. Costa Rican zebra tarantulas are just one of many species that I like to burrow. Here I have another species. This is the uh, white striped bird eater. It did make a burrow a lot. I showed it in my tarantula feeding video. You can see it better over there. And this one actually just molted, so she's actually really big, but she's back there, so you can't really see her. And an even smaller one that likes to burrow is over here, the King Baboon Tarantula. And I always see these at Reptile Expos in like huge setups, but this one isn't that big, so it's not in a huge setup. But once it gets big, it's gonna be in something like this or even bigger, and it's gonna have a huge hole to go in. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. And if you want more of these care videos, like it and subscribe.